Here we have a Honeywell window fan. It's a bit old. When we got it, the speed control that used to be there was always a bit dodgy. The fan speeds would jump all over the place as if the speed control wasn't connected right. And it has since fallen apart entirely. The slide potentiometer in there has simply broken. And now that leaves it where it will usually run the fans at the lowest setting, but will occasionally rev them up at random intervals, as if there's a little bastard with a troll face on playing with the throttle. So, I decided enough is enough, and might as well pop this thing open, see how it works, clean it up. These fans are just a little bit stiff, which doesn't help the growling noise they make when they're running slowly. So, might as well pop it open, see how it works, and see if I can rig up another potentiometer to get variable fan speed again. Alright, so I unscrewed this front panel. I actually kind of like the little plastic see-through spot there to some of the internals. This look like big filter caps for the motor leads and just a little front panel. Now, uh, internals, there's not a whole lot to this. This, uh, it supposedly had a temperature control. It's either a tiny thermistor or probably even a diode in there as a thermometer. And just a little DOP chip in there that would read the temperature and then control the fans. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be variable speed according to temperature and also probably on and off as well. Except this little slide potentiometer is really really dodgy. This, um, I don't know if you can see this but the actual slide element can just wobble all over the place there. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why this thing was having so much trouble maintaining any constant speed because everything else appears to be in good working order. There's no burn marks or anything. And there's a bit of sign of heat around these power resistors, but those actually don't seem to be under too much stress, so I'm pretty sure that it's all going to come down to that dodgy linear potentiometer. So, I'm going to unscrew the board and have a look underneath and see what it would take to replace that with something a bit more reliable. Holding these mains wires in place with skimpy dollops of hot glue. Lovely. The dodgy potentiometer measures in at 10k. However, I do not have a 10k potentiometer on hand. What I do have is a big chunky 50k potentiometer from a previous project of long ago. So, gonna put another wire on this, get rid of the dodgy piece of shit, and pop this in in the same spot to see if I can get the fans to be variable again. Alright, I removed the dodgy part and I've put the potentiometer back in. Now since this is a mains appliance and there is no isolation that I can see, I'm going to assume that this potentiometer and its contacts will be attached to the mains. So I wrapped it up in tape just so I don't get a nasty surprise when I turn it on. Even though I am standing on rubber pads, this is still a basement, it's still kind of damp in here, so I would rather not be shocked tonight. So, gonna give this thing a plug in and see what happens. It'll either work as intended, or I've somehow done something horribly wrong connecting three wires exactly how the original was connected and it will let copious amounts of magic smoke out. So, here goes. Plugged in, power on in three, 
two, one. All right, it appears to be running normally. And let's see what happens if I turn this up. Huh. It's interesting. There's low. If I turn it up, it just jumps right to high. If I keep turning it up, it doesn't speed up anymore. So. Maybe the fanciness, what appears to be a manual control from low to high potentiometer, instead was simply a low to high switch using the same potentiometer. Interesting. Wouldn't have expected that, which means this thing's even cheaper than I thought. However, it now has a defined state, so will either be low or high, depending on what this is set at. And if I were to change it to thermostat control, it would probably actually be able to read the temperature and run the fan at high speed when the temperature was too warm, and then switch to low speed when the room cooled off. So, not quite as successful as what I thought, but at least I can give it a fine state now, and it's not going to act like there's a troll guy flipping the throttle from low to high all the time. Got the control board screwed back in and got the front panel on. I did make a bit of a mistake. This is why I always measure multiple times and only drill one hole. I was a bit of a dumbass here and got distracted, forgot exactly where I had measured and didn't mark it, and drilled the hole in entirely the wrong place. So it doesn't look so great anymore, but then again, what could I expect with this big ugly taped up potentiometer shaft sticking out there like a beak? But it's going back together. This fits, I didn't lose any screws, and I think I'm going to get the front on and uh, maybe clean the fans, then get the front on. And back in my room it goes. Well, there it is, right back where it belongs in my window, bringing in some nice cool air, because it's kind of hot and stale in here. But I think that's all folks, thanks for watching.